Our world is a connected world, and we expect to be connected to it. At home, in the office, or on the road, we have immediate access to the things that matter. But what about in the air? Airline passengers have come to expect the same experience they have on the ground to be available during flight. But getting connectivity onto an old airplane flying at 600 miles an hour is not an easy task. To do this, the airplane first needs an antenna that receives signal from a satellite. This antenna then passes the signal to a router, which is connected to a rack that makes the signal available to the plane. Making these pieces of technology work together provides a whole host of engineering challenges. So putting a large radome on, on board an aircraft is ultimately a very heavy structures problem. There's a lot of considerations that go into adding something to a plane, no matter what it is, because you know, any problem could have a huge effect on the safety of passengers. With some innovative engineering, Wi-Fi on planes became a reality. But what good is Wi-Fi if customers can't use their devices on the plane? Imagine uh, when an aircraft is equipped with Wi-Fi. You've got 100 passengers on there taking out their device, whether it's a laptop, iPhone, iPad, whatever, and they're hooked up to the Wi-Fi and they're transmitting all this RF. Uh, from their devices. This is thought to be a threat to the avionics on the aircraft because they could interfere potentially with these different components. So our TPED group, they go and test aircraft, and that testing demonstrates that all the existing equipment on the aircraft is not susceptible to interference from any transmitting portable electronic device. So that's something that Armstrong has pioneered, is doing this demonstration, proving this through testing, and that opens the floodgates for being able to install more in-flight entertainment systems and allow people to use their personal devices on aircraft. What we now learned is that anytime you bring a device on the aircraft, passengers are gonna wanna power those devices. So a new problem emerged. Passengers had no way to charge their device batteries on the airplane. We had to bring an idea to the airlines then of how to easily get passenger power. So we came up with the idea of the power bar. So the power bar is a physical mount beneath the passenger seats that includes outlets for passengers to plug in their devices. The certification for the seat doesn't need to be changed. They just install it under the seats and away they go. The next problem to solve was a curveball to the whole airline industry concerning ray domes. There was an FAA regulation that came out that required existing radomes to be bird strike compliant. So that could provide a safety issue if a bird hits the radome, it splits, it breaks off, it hits the tail, that could be a problem. We, we again had to look at how do we solve this problem. We had to come up with an innovative solution that didn't require us to remove the existing systems, but rather protect them. And so we created the Bird Striker. The Bird Striker is a product that sits in front of the radome, and it takes the brunt of the bird strike. It's a product that mounts directly in front of the radome on the fuselage in such a way that any potential impact from a bird would strike the Bird Striker and not the radome. So that's basically what we do here. Really, we solve problems for the airline industry.